Topping the news this evening, today marked the reopening of the country's borders the first time in months. Officials of the Nassau Airport Development Company welcomed close to 600 passengers under strict COVID-19 protocols. The country's main gateway receiving six inbound international flights. Desmond Saunders tells us that visitors are expressing satisfaction over the strict COVID-19 protocols and that they were happy to visit someplace new. At 11.48 Wednesday morning, 54 passengers arrived at the Linden Pending International Airport from Fort Lauderdale, Florida on JetBlue Airlines, one of several flights that touched down at the country's main gateway. A few people on the plane. Uh, it's good to be back, though. I work here, so nice to be back in Nassau. Uh, well, we came by boat in March, and uh, we stayed for a month and a half, and then, you know, the pandemic hit, so we had to leave, and we just couldn't wait to get back. So now I came back to get my boat. I'll be here for probably a week or so and then head back to the States. But we're very, very glad to be here. As soon as they arrived, they were greeted with new protocols. The visitors, all wearing masks, had their temperatures taken. They had to produce a negative COVID-19 test as well as an approved health visa. Immigration officers also provided them with mandatory guidelines. Just, uh, you know, walking in, having to get the fever checked and all that, having to give the COVID test, uh, you know, the paperwork and all that stuff. Um, yeah, it was sufficient, but, then, you know, they made it good, good process and all that, just make sure everyone's safe. It still is difficult because you, you need to get tested again. We've been tested many times because we want to know we're safe, but to know that the country is asking you to be safer and to have the time to do the test and be isolated and then to come to a safer place, it, it, it's worth it. Well, it's smooth but slow. Mm. Okay. But it was good. Officials of the NASA Airport Development Company putting in place strict protocols for the safety of residents. Only ticketed passengers allowed inside LPIA's terminals. Signs erected showing COVID-19 protocols, not ensuring that the safety of residents is paramount, particularly as COVID-19 cases surge in the United States. It was back to business for scores of airline workers and taxi cab drivers. Today, the country reopened its borders after a two-month closure due to travel restrictions imposed as a result of the COVID-19 virus. Even though, you know, it's a small crowd coming on the very first day, but unfortunately, we are grateful and we're thankful to be able to have some sort of customers coming in. The most big hotels and resort are closed at this moment, and we're pushing through to try to see if we could get things back started. Officials of the NASA Airport Development Company expected to welcome close to 600 passengers here at the Linden Pending International Airport today. Business activity expected to increase over the next few days, leading to a rebound in the local economy. Here at the Linden Pending International Airport, Desmond Saunders, ZNS Network News.